Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. The number one thing I get asked for all the time in Adobe Premiere Pro is, where are all the cool transitions? Well, I'm going to show you transitions, effects, and a whole lot more. You're about to have your mind blown. This is Film Impact. All right, let's define what a transition is. It's a change from one thing to another. But I wanna show you how film impact is different. These are real transitions, not stacks of effects. Have you ever seen these? Have a look at this. This is not what film impact is. If you think this is a transition, this kind of stuff here, and then when you get to this stuff, you're like, well, what actually is this? And you click on things and you see it's just a giant stack of effects. And how do you edit this stuff? If you double click on it, look at this. It's stacks and stacks of nested, 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 nested. This is one transition. Oh man, there's way too many of these out here. They're not really useful. They are very difficult to edit. So what's the difference with Film Impact? They're transitions. Let me show you. So in this example, you'll see clips and then you'll see transitions on each one of these between each effect. They're just like Adobe transitions, but they're programmed uh, as new types of effects. And there's tons of them. I'm gonna be demonstrating um, a collection called The Big Bang, and I'll have links in the description. So let me show you my timeline. This is a, a whole bunch of different ones all put together just so you get an idea of, of what they are. All right, that's a collection of a bunch of different kinds because if, if you have a look here, there's animations, distortions, essentials, light blur, smart tools, and transformers. And I picked a whole bunch of different ones just to give you an idea. Now, they all have a default setting, which is usually just perfect, but of course you can change this. So what I want you to understand is there are two ways to work with these, drag and drop and hit play, drag and drop and edit. And, and change and customize them. So let's have a look at a couple of these. Okay, so let's have a look at this one here. And this one is spinning around in 3D with beautiful, gorgeous motion blur. Film Impact has their own 3D engine and motion blur engine, and it's GPU accelerated. You'll notice that I have a yellow line, but I didn't have to render anything and it played in real time because it's using my kick-ass RTX uh, NVIDIA GPU to play back. It's incredible. And the th some of the things you can do, if we go to the effects controls, click on the transition and you can see this one is the 3D roll impacts and you can change the direction of this. You can choose or reverse the direction. You can change the edge behavior and you can turn on and off the motion blur. So that's what you're seeing right there. And then it gets really wild. Here's some, some great effects. Again, very simple to edit. You can choose 
where the uh, rotation is, where the orientation is, where the origin is. So where is it moving from? And then you have things like this one. This just freaks me out. Look at this. This is drag and drop. How did it know where that guy was? That's part of the brilliance of film impact is these kind of magic things. It just naturally forms around that person's shape and the face diminishes into that flame. Honestly, I just dragged this in between the two clips and it did this. Wow. Of course, you can come in here and change all of this. You can change the softness, the contrast, the colors, um, how much of this grunge is going on. And then have a look at this one. Look at this, this gorgeous blur between the face. Again, drag and drop. And these are chroma leak impacts. And then have these amazing splits. And what I hope you notice in any time there's motion, like the split or the flips that are coming out, they're beautiful. So if you use regular linear keyframes in Premiere Pro, they work from here to here. But if you look at a, a real motion graphic artist, all of their motion is beautifully, beautifully done and natural. And that's what all the defaults are here. They have motion and you can tweak them. I'll show you that in just a second. Just beautiful. And look at this one. Seamless, absolutely seamless and gorgeous. Drag and drop. And of course, you can change where it's, it's blurring from. Another one, completely seamless. All right, so check this out. This one is block motion impacts. Boop, boop, boop. So you can see that it doesn't just flip down. It's got that nice little flip. Hmm, but what if we wanted to edit that? You know how hard it is to do this with keyframes in After Effects? I mean, forget Premiere Pro, you're not gonna get beautiful motion like this. In After Effects, it's hell. Look at this. There's a visual graph editor and you get choices, bounce, overshoot, or a bezier. The bounce is going to give you a bounce. And you can change things like the initial velocity, the elasticity, and how much is it bouncing. Whoa, 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 and that really bounces back. And then you can change any of these back to the default just by clicking here. Uh, you can set how many bounces, so we can turn this up to 12 bounces. It gets pretty crazy. And we can do an overshoot and change things like the amplitude. So how much is this overshooting? Watch this. Woo, woo, woo. Again, you know how hard this is in After Effects to edit those curves beautifully? And you don't have to do it. Drag and drop. Here's another one. Flips around, gorgeous motion. Flips down, gorgeous motion. And this is a pop one. Again, look at that. Woo, 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 woo. It doesn't just do that, it's, and again, of course, you can change all of the popping, you can change the overshoot, you can change it, and you can hit this surprise me button, and it's going to give you a good change. Look at that, it went down to the corner now. Oh my God. And you can change the amount of, of motion blur segments all the way up and, and change how much that's blurring so that it blurs beautifully. gorgeous flare impacts and you can set where the flare impacts the start and end point and look at this one notice how this zoom goes to the face of the next person well how do you do that you can change the zoom direction so there's the zoom amount and there's the center and i'm changing where that zoom happens so it happens right into her face Ooh and a few more, look at that. Okay, some liquid ones, a kaleidoscope that I messed around with, just lots of beautiful ones. There's that kaleidoscope. Ray impacts are beautiful, look at that. And, and these spins, you can change things like 
how many slices there are. So if you turn the slices off, then it just does this impact and you can change the, the where it's rotating and all of these other things. It's amazing. And this great VHS, you know how hard these things are to play back in real time. Look at that. And I can click on that and tell it to surprise me. So give me a different setting, different one, different one, different one, different one. And then this one I love, look at that. Like a television shutting off. So let me show you just dragging and dropping a few of these in here to, just to get um, some ideas on how it works. So I've got just a whole bunch of cuts here and I'm gonna go to the light uh, blurs. So I drag a chroma link on here, look at that. Go to the next one, maybe directional blur impacts, flare impacts, Glow impacts. Uh, light leaks. And more of that uh, ray impacts. Soft wipes. So let's say ray impacts over here. I'm gonna right click and set that as the default. When you set a default transition, Control-D on Windows, Command-D on Mac will apply it to everything on the, the timeline. So I'm gonna select the edits. I'm holding Control on Windows, Command on Mac, select all of those, and Ray Impacts, Control-D, Command-D on the Mac. Now I've got Ray Impacts. They're all the same because that's the default setting. So let's use the Surprise Me. I'll click on each one, Surprise me, click, surprise me, click, surprise me. And each one is going to have a randomness to it. So now let's look at that one, completely different. Another different one. So how long did that take me? Not very long at all. And I didn't stack layers and hit blend modes and move things around, drag and drop. The other great thing is you come up with something cool, save it as a preset. So let's save this one. I'll select it. If you right click in here and save as a preset, you can save it as a preset, anchor it and include the transition duration because remember you can change this duration so I can make these faster really fast if I was doing more of a sports kind of a thing or slower and more romantic. Let's look at the split impacts. I had a lot of fun with these. Let me show you what's going on with these split impacts. Again, look at the motion where it opens, stops slightly, and then keeps going. It's a beautiful, smooth motion. Do you notice something very particular about these splits? It splits where the eyes are all the time. And that's not by mistake, that's by design. So I'll select the effect here, the transition, and you can change uh, how much it eases and stops and, and animation modes, but you can change the split point. So I just changed where the eyes, so it opened all the time where the face was. It did not take long for me to set this up. So I get to control exactly where I want the viewer to look. Just amazing. And you can also use these with text. So this is that same 3D roll and it's just a regular essential graphics text, logos, anything in there. And by the way, I'm going to do a whole other tutorial next week just on motion because what you can do with motion, uh, let me tease you. Have a look at this.
no keyframes. No keyframes were used in that at all. It was all drag and drop. Let me also show you some of the effects. So this is in the effects, not a transition. And you can see there are alpha, blur, long shadow, rounded crop vignettes, and we have a vignette. And you might be asking yourself, well, there's already a vignette in Premiere Pro. Is there one? Yeah. Well, does it allow you to move the center wherever you want? It doesn't. The Lumetri vignette is very limiting. Here we can change all of these things, the height, the shape, the roundness, and the position, the feather, the softness, and we can even add chromatic aberration in here. Here's another great effect. This is a rounded uh, crop effect, and you'll notice that the subject moves. That's because I have this zoom to crop. So she wasn't shot in the center of the frame, but I want a round crop and I want her centered in the frame. Wherever I'm cropping this, if I have that zoom to crop, it's automatically going to put it in the center. And I can turn on a background layer here. So she's floating on another layer. Another one is a stroke effect. And I can change the color so I can make this a very thin white uh, stroke size and you can stroke any alpha anywhere. I was blown away. Film Impact has been around for years, but I kind of missed what they had been doing for the last few years. Had a look at them again, could not believe how amazing it is. And I'm going to start using these in all of my shows because I don't want to have to take the time to, an to animate things that pop up every single time, keyframe, 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 all of that stuff. It's so annoying. I just want to take a graphic, drop it on, drag and drop, uh, drag and drop some transitions. I'm amazed. So, like I said, two ways of using this, drag and drop or drag and drop and customize. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once monthly, any amount. We appreciate everyone who supports us. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to uh, get all jazzed up when I find something that's going to make all of your videos look so cool. And then I've got to come out here and show you something cool like Film Impact.